Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd Supplication in Islam or prayer and dua as we call it is something uh, very great and it is a way in which the slave or servant or person can uh, plead their affairs to their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator of the heavens and earth who is who is over all things omnipotent he's the one who can answer your dua he's the one who will save you from the hellfire he's the one who gives you guidance he's the one who gives you sustenance subhanahu wa ta'ala and in this regard supplication in Islam is one of the most important ways in which a Muslim deals with trials and tests supplication to Allah the Almighty alone can protect one from the hellfire enter one into the paradise prevent calamities or bring about ease in a person's life the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said uh, a dua hu ibadah he said that supplication is worship salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi supplication has many benefits as Ibn al-Qayyum rahimahullah ta'ala one of the great uh, classical scholars a student of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala and he, Ibn al-Qayyum mentioned that at least at least 60 benefits uh, with regards to the supplication. However, to be concise, we'll mention just a few. Supplication wards off the shaitan and it causes him to flee and it weakens the shaitan. And so if you want to weaken the shaitan and those evil spirits, then supplicate to Allah, not to the grave, not to the dead, not to the awliya, not to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or to Jesus alayhi salatu wa salam or any of the prophets or to your priest or anyone. Supplicate to Allah. And it also brings about the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most merciful, if you supplicate to him. Supplicate, supplication also uh, removes sadness and heartache and encourages happiness and energy in the heart, as well as the positive physical effects. It also brings about light to the face and the heart. Those are some of the many benefits of supplicating to Allah, that it will remove the sadness from your chest and, it, and, and any heartache and sorrow that you're feeling. Have you ever felt the, 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 the beauty of supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you've been in, in your lowest form of sadness? You felt sadness. You felt humbled and, and maybe uh, you, had a, you were in a state of humility for whatever reason, whatever calamity that struck you in your life. And you supplicated to Allah and Allah re relieved that. And you cried sincerely to Allah. Doesn't that feel good to cry? And let out, let out that which you're holding in your heart, the stress, the anxiety, and do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's nothing greater than that feeling. Also, Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah ta'ala, mentioned that supplication is a cause for the increase in what's one's uh, substance and provisions. Supplication encourages repentance and reliance to walk on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, it's verified all, uh, all throughout uh, hadith that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh, that he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, supplicated and he repented and turned to Allah often. Ibn Rajib said, the Imams of the Salaf, whose benefits and knowledge are agreed upon, accepted the truth regardless from where it came from. They advised their companions and followers to accept the truth even if it appeared dif to differ from their statement. So this is important for us to supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also be humble to accept the truth. Have your heart open to the truth. Have your heart, your heart open to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept his blessings and to come back to him often. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything that I said that was incorrect was for myself and the shaitan. And may Allah protect us and our family and our children from the shayateen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.